What's up guys? We got a great video for you today and we're gonna go through some mail and we're gonna do a couple of uh, other things that you guys should be watching for so stay tuned. Mail call! So we got some mail, we got a few packages and it's really cool that we're getting mail. Um, so we're gonna give you guys a little shout out while we open these up. I should probably open these up. But this is first one's from Blue Shield Royals. I wonder if they would want to change their name to Blue Shield Reptiles, which is what I try to do to our buddy Kai all the time. <laughs> Still bringing them up. You didn't uh, go see his vlog on YouTube. It's under Lucas Landon Royals. So this is Blue Shield Royals out of Florida. Cool. So here's a little coaster with their logo on it. I don't know if you can see that. Looking good. Business card and a pretty cool sticker. I like the feel. This is like slightly matted. It's really nice. I like that. Thanks Blue Shield Royals. Next we have one from our friend at Gray's Reptiles. Um, if you guys see you're on here and we're opening up your stickers and I didn't send you stickers. Return. <laughs> sent out a lot at once so it's possible that I didn't send one out but pretty sure I sent it to these guys here. This is Gray's Reptiles. He sent us a little postcard looking thing here. Looks pretty cool. Gray's Reptiles. On the back it says, Keep up the great work, love your channel, and truly amazing animals. Gray and family. Alright, what's up? I love personal letters. And he has a, a business card here for you. For us. We'll try to make sure to put all their information in the description. To give you guys a little shout out. We really appreciate it. That is the voice behind the camera. <laughs> so, Gray's Reptiles, a little logo here. Yes, and as Ryan said, we're gonna put their information out on our links below. So you can check them out. Then we got a little box. Don't know what is in it, but uh, <coughs> I'm surprised to get that from the mailbox. So we're surprised. Who's it, it from? It's from Arizona. I'm not gonna uh, say the name exactly because it doesn't have a business name on it yet. Let's see here. Huh. So, thank you for the stickers. Please enjoy the temperature and humidity gauge. Oh, from Amazon, I made the case on a 3D printer. Love the videos. Chad, Chad Collins. Oh, Chad, so we got a little, he made this on a 3D printer. Let's huh. check this out. I know a guy that likes 3D printers. I love 3D printers. Okay, so it's a little, this is our little box here, a little 3D printed box, and open this up, I don't want to break anything, ah, okay, we have a bunch of these all over the place, a little temperature gauge, and he printed a box this fits right into and uh, oh, I don't want to break it but make sure this goes in nice and easy boop, 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 boop. check that out nice it's a little tiny box you can put adhesive on it temperature gauge and it comes with velcro so we have these temperature humidity gauges all over the place um, they're like all over we have one like right up here we have them all over they don't have nearly as cool of a box to hold it in. That's really awesome. It's, Thanks, Chad. It's like popular or not there. <laughs> That's pretty cool. It has these gaps you can hit all the buttons and things that you need to get to. And ah, man. So it can breathe and know what the temperature and humidity is. Look where we put it. It's really cool with our assassin bugs. Awesome. 
That's pretty cool, man. Thanks. Really appreciate it. And uh, I was holding it upside down. Really appreciate it. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for giving us some mail. And uh, we'll be putting your descriptions below. Chad, I'm going to have to ask to see if you have a YouTube or something. I don't know. But uh, Hey, man, reach out. Yeah. If you have any social media you want plugged, we're, yeah. we're happy to help. So thank you very much. And uh, let's move on to the next thing. All right, guys, um, I got to send out shipment tomorrow, so I figured I would just show you guys how to ship reptiles, if you don't know. Um, one thing that's really important is to get the right shipping material. FedEx has really strict guidelines with shipping reptiles and what type of boxes you can use. Uh, we use Ship Your Reptiles stuff, and they have all that, like all the guidelines on the website, so you can go check that out there. But these are their boxes that they make. And it's cool because it has the Lacey Act information on it, which is required anytime you're shipping a reptile. You have to check off what the Latin name is and the common name and how many. It's really important, especially, I mean, it's always important, but there are some states that are really crazy about it, like Florida. So always make sure you fill out your Lacey Act stuff. We use insulated boxes. This is half inch insulation. Gonna squeak like terrible. Now, depending on your temperatures, uh, you can either ship it without a heat pack. You can use a heat pack if it's cold. You can use a cryo pack if it might be too hot or even these crowd packs, they kind of regulate the temperature of the box to like 70 degrees or something. I don't exactly understand how the science works of it, but that's what they say. <laughs> um, we don't ship unless the temperatures are over 40 degrees at night, the nighttime lows. So, but right now it's perfect shipping weather for nothing. Um, if it is cold or too hot, ship hub to hub. That's a key. I'm gonna grab some packing paper real quick. And I'm going to show you this heat pack that we use. This is uni heat. You can get this just about anywhere. We're using a 60 hour. You see that? 60 hour heat pack. Um, we generally don't need 60 hours, of course, because it's overnight. But I feel like the longer the better. Oops. So just pop some holes in your belly cup. If the animal is small, I like to use a deli cup because it gives a little added protection. If not, you can use snake bags, um, but I'm shipping out a baby skink, so I want to make sure it has a little added protection. So deli cup, some paper in case it decides to relieve itself on the journey. And we're shipping out Y11 today. This is going to our friend Betty. Beautiful. Stick him in there for the cooperating. This is my <laughs> favorite part. It is fun. Don't, don't take my fingertip off, man. You see this crap? It's ridiculous. I don't know. Seems bad that we're shipping the small container but it doesn't hurt them at all and they are safer this way they'll be in there for you know ideally less than 20 hours <laughs> so they're they're fine and I use one, only do fedex overnight priority so they should leave at seven o'clock at night and be there before 10 30 in the morning the next day you want to show where you would put the heat packs and all that so I want to use a heat pack in a box this small, um, just because there's not a lot of room. But you'd want to, I would use like a, an eight by, what is it, eight by 11 we're using or something. That way I can have the heat pack off to the side because you don't want it directly in contact with what you're shipping. Because they can heat up enough to kill your reptiles. So you got to be super careful. Don't use more than one unless you have an extremely large box. 
um, never put it directly on top of uh, a reptile or any living thing that you're shipping. So Explain why. It will heat up and kill it. <laughs> All I know is it heats up a lot. And a long time ago, somebody sent us a shipment with it. Essentially, the impact was like that, and the reptile was like that. And guess what we got in the mail the next day? Not a live reptile. <laughs> so, good insulated box, rated properly for FedEx shipping. Make sure you do your legal stuff with Lacey Act. Um, half inch is best. There can be some thin insulation. Don't ship if it's over 90 or under 40, in my opinion. Some people might have other opinions, but it's up to them. So yeah, what did I miss? Anything? The most important thing. The most important thing is make sure you have branded tape. R&B Reptiles <laughs> tape, turn it to they can see. Oh man, I love this tape. This is like my favorite thing of our whole business. Happy Reptiles tape! Cost me an arm and a leg. Yeah. And it'll last us 30 years. Everybody that buys from us gets a little bit of swag now, which is awesome. Nothing to lose. Well, thank you, card. Some stickers. But yeah. This little guy's going to Betty tomorrow, and hopefully she loves him because he's awesome. Or it, I don't know what sex it is. And yeah, that's how you ship. Any questions about shipping? I probably left out a detail or two that you might be thinking of right now. Uh, comment down below. I'm more than happy to answer your question. Thanks guys for watching our videos. We really appreciate it. And I hope that you guys like and subscribe to our channel and like the video. Comment down below, let us know what you think and uh, about the videos and also what else you wanna see. We always ask that. Don't forget to watch our other videos and make sure that you get involved in the giveaway that we have going on. And hit that notification bell because then you'll know when the videos are being posted as well as um, when giveaways are being done. So we'll talk to you guys later and have a great night.